Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and today we're gonna to take a look at the new Tom Ford Liquid Lip Lux Matte <laughs> Liquid Lipsticks. So a little bit of a tongue twister there. These retail for 59 US dollars. There are eight shades, there's 0.2 ounces of product and they are made in Italy. And we are going to take a look at the five shades that I picked up and I also have a couple wear tests. So let's start off with some swatches. So this is the lightest shade, number 120, Naked Haze. And I'll, as I pull it out, I wanna show you what this wand is like. So it's got a really great shape and I want you to notice that this is kind of like a spoon. So you can see it kind of is a little more concave on this side. And this side will pull up a little bit more product. This side, it does have a little indentation in the center. So you'll pull, there will be a little pool of product in there as well, but it's smaller. So you've got one side that will distribute more product and one side that will distribute a little bit less. And you can see this is finely flocked. So you can really edge around the edges really easily. So this shade here, again, is 120 Naked Haze. I have to say this is warmer than the promo photos. The promo photos made it look more nude, whereas this is more of a deep peachy nude. So there's definitely more like of that deep peach, almost like a little bit of a soft rust tone mixed into there. Next up we have 121 Lark. And this one here is going to be very similar to 120 Naked Haze, but of the pinker variety. So like the depth of color is gonna be about the same for both, but you can see instead of peach, we have more red mixed in there. So th this is Naked Haze and Lark. And then the other three I picked up are a bit deeper. So next up we have what's on my lips. This is 125 Mind Blown, and this is a really, really beautiful berry shade. I really like this. You can see it's kind of your purple berry there. Definitely enough of that red in there to make it more of, you know, if you look at the skin of a fresh plum, how you've got that red mixed with the purple, this is what you get with Mind Blown. And again, that's the one I have on my lips right now. We also have 127 Temptress. I really, I really actually love uh, all of these deeper shades that I picked up here. You can see this is gonna be your blue-based red. You definitely have a bit of kind of that fuchsia tone in there. And if you want to have more of that look on your lips, I would definitely recommend just kind of blotting a little bit on your lips, maybe with like a, a brush or something, but don't go full force with the applicator. And then last up, we have 16 Scarlet Rouge. And this is a classic shade from Tom Ford. And you can see this is gonna be more of your neutral red. So these are the five I picked up and you can see they're starting to dry in my hand. I'll show you these again. But first, let's move on to some lip swatches and talk a little bit more about these products. So as I mentioned before, these have 0.2 ounces of product. They're made in Italy. There are eight shades in the line and they retail for 59 US dollars. According to Tom Ford, the liquid lip lux matte melts onto lips with a cloud-like creamy feel. This long wearing formula sculpts with vivid high impact color. It's long lasting and transfer resistant. It is infused with black rose oil and seaweed extracts. This formula helps smooth and blur the look of fine lines. It's a new series of customizable hues that sets to an elastic finish. And a few things that they've also noted, there are no parabens, mineral oil, sulfite, triclosan, triclocarbon, formaldehyde or donors. I'm not sure what that means, no donors, <laughs> but if anybody knows, I'd love, to, I'd love to find out. So please let me know in the comments if you know what that means. But let me talk a little bit about what I think about these products. I think they are okay. So I was really excited. That's why I picked up five straight from the start because I was really enticed by these particular shades. And, you know, I thought for sure these would be like, fantastic. I think they're okay. And the reason I think they're okay is because there is a little bit of inconsistency with the wear time. And you'll see that in the wear test for 
Naked Haze, where that one, it pretty much wore off. You know, I think that wear test was five hours. I didn't even really eat during that time. I drank from my water bottle and that was basically it. And then I wore one of the reds and that one lasted like all day. Uh, there was a little bit of transfer. However, this is interesting. If I blot my lips on a tissue anytime throughout the day or I touch it with my finger, I get product on my finger or a tissue. However, if I'm drinking out of a glass, I don't see any of the lipstick on the glass. So just something to note, there is a little bit of minimal transfer, but it's really not that much, but it does depend what you're doing. You can see there was definitely wear in the middle of my lips from drinking and so forth. But after eating, I had, I had cereal with, you know, milk that got on my lips. It really did not cause any further you know, transfer issue with the red lipstick. So I thought that was really interesting. Now, as for some of the Tom Ford claims, when you put this on, it feels like a liquid lipstick. You can feel some of that evaporative alcohol feeling. And, you know, I don't notice any particular heavy fragrance. There is a fragrance in here, but it's definitely not as strong as I expected it to be. However, Tom Ford is describing this as a creamy feel. I don't think it feels creamy. It feels like a liquid lipstick. You know, it's of the thinner variety. It's not so thin and watery that it is difficult to apply. It's got a great texture, a great consistency to start off with. It makes it really easy to use. However, when it dries down, it definitely has that matte dry feeling to your lips. Now, I have not noticed any adverse you know, effects on my lips after wearing these for several days. However, it does feel dry on my lips, especially after a couple hours. I just want to put some lip balm on. So I do find it to be a little bit drying. So that's a little bit of a con for me. However, since it didn't actually, you know, put my lips in worse condition, uh, you know, it, it's pretty mild. Now, as for the claim of blurring lines and so forth in your lips, I don't really find that accurate. I feel like I can see the lines in my lips just as easily with this product as I can with others. So it's not really emphasizing them, but I don't really find it to be blurring either. And one other claim from Tom Ford is that it sets to an elastic finish. I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. So I can't really, you know, make a comment on that. But I did want to mention that if you put on a light layer of this, you're definitely going to get kind of that matte powdery texture on your lips. That's what it feels like. But if you put on like a second or third layer and you kind of pile that up, you'll get a little bit of that stickiness. So think about the Chanel Ultra Tenue Duos. When you put that matte on and then, you know, it feels a little sticky and then you put on the clear gloss side of that. Um, it's not quite as sticky as those, but you get a little bit of, you know, a reminiscent note of that tackiness if you pile on more of the Tom Ford product. So I would definitely recommend putting on a thin layer, let it dry, then add a second layer and let it dry and then no issues with that whatsoever. So I just wanna talk a little bit more about the transfer of these. So they are primarily a transfer resistant product. So if I touch my lips right now, you don't see any product. Clean tissue here, if I blot it, I get a little bit right in the corner of my lips you know, where it's a little moist there. So, you know, no major transfer issues. When I start seeing a little transfer from this, like if my lips get wet from, you know, drinking water or something like that, and, you know, it's later in the day after this has been on for several hours, that's when I really start to notice the transfer. But these deeper shades, they really stay put well all day. And even once the transfer starts to set in, like I didn't notice any transfer until we were like five or six hours in with the red lipstick. And then it was whenever something was wet. And then after a while, it was just anytime I touched it. So it's, you know, it's pretty transfer proof for the first several hours and then it kind of fades. However, my experience with Naked Haze was different and that, you know, I didn't really notice any transfer immediately, but when I went to look, it was pretty much all gone. So it was, you know, that one I found to be a little disappointing. Overall, I would say that these are transfer resistant, 
but not transfer proof. And I do think that there is a timeline on here. So if you've got like a long work day, these will still look good for the entire work day. However, you might notice some wear in certain areas of your lips that you've used more by the end of the day, and you might start seeing transfer by the end of the day. But overall, they hold up very well. So here are the lipstick swatches now that they've dried. And yeah, so overall, I'd have to say that this is a nice liquid lipstick, but it's not as great as I thought it was going to be because, again, it's a little bit drying. The lighter shades were a little bit warmer than I thought they were going to be, and they just didn't hold up quite as well as the deeper shades. The deeper shades, though, are great. So if you're interested in these, I would definitely recommend looking at the you know reds and berries and so forth in this line versus the lighter shades. If you're looking for a lighter shade, I think a better one is actually the Gucci liquid lipsticks. However, those are highly fragranced. So just a few quick comparisons of some different formulas. This is the Gucci liquid lipstick and they met in Argentina. You can see that this wand here, I do think the uh, Tom Ford is superior wand. It's just a little easier to use. I like the you know teardrop shape versus the cylinder. But I did wanna show you this because I think this is a really great product, really easy to use as well. And this one, the lighter shades in here, I think are just, they last a little bit better than the Tom Ford. You can see that they met in Argentina. It's gonna be more peachy pink than Naked Haze or Lark. Another great one is the Armani Lip Maestros. This one here is 109. It has a, like a tiny bit of shimmer in here, but this really stays put as well. You can see this is gonna be a soft nude. It's gonna be lighter than the Tom Ford as well. This will really stay put all day also. Um, again, wand wise, I do prefer the Tom Ford. However, I love how this one bends here. It's very flexible, making it really comfortable to put it around, you know, on the lips, but for edging the Tom Ford's better. And this is the Killian Liquid Lipstick. They have new satin ones that I haven't tried. This one is shade 320. I actually love these. You know, the wand is great. The shades are great. They last really well. The only thing is they have a very, very strong fragrance. So, you know, that is my con with the Killian Liquid Lipsticks, but I love the way they look and perform. And you can see that this one is kind of right in between Scarlet Rouge and Temptress. So it's gonna be a little bit closer to Temptress. Uh, but again, it does have a very strong fragrance. Uh, it smells like Love Don't Be Shy from Killian, if you're familiar with that fragrance. And then this is one of the Pat McGrath liquid lipsticks, and this one is Nude Venus. And I think the Pat McGrath liquid lipsticks are really nice, actually. So they are, you know, they're definitely one that I would recommend. And for the lighter shades, again, I think it just performs a little bit better than Naked Haze or Lark did. And um, yeah, you can see this is gonna be a little bit rosier. It's a little bit cooler than uh, both Lark and Naked Haze but we still have kind of that peachy pink kind of vibe to it. So overall, I think those are all great formulas. I do like the Tom Ford ones that I picked up, but personally, I think Mind Blown, Temptress, and Scarlet Rouge are the best, the two lighter shades I would pass on. So I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on these, whether you've tried any of these or you are considering picking some up, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day.